First time I bought a mountain bike up here, my favorite one of my local uh, dirt biking tracks, Wallaby Rocks, usually blasting up here at a good clip on a dirt bike. Right now I'm in boost, but I'm making good progress. I wouldn't be riding this without the power assist, that's for sure, it's fucking steep. But beautiful out here, and when I get up high, I'm gonna have a go at descending down Launders Track and then climbing up Launders Track, which is way steeper than this. So it's gonna be very interesting, be a good test for the bike, whether or not I can make it up. I'm doing this ride on boost, but I'm putting in a lot of effort and uh, on this climb, it'd be too steep for me to do, probably on, on the lightest mode. So yeah, I'll get up to the top soon and get some downhill bits. Looking at that, I've been on boost mode pretty much the whole way. I've done 17.6 kilometers, gained in elevation 419 meters, average speed of 22 kilometers an hour. Chewing through my battery because I've been, haven't been above, well, I've been going uphill and using motor assistance for all of that. I'm at 50% battery. And I'm gonna cruise down this track here, which is called Launders Track. I often ride this on my motorcycle. It's pretty steep in places. It's a four-wheel drive track. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, then I'm gonna climb back up it in boost mode and head home and hopefully get back on one charge. It's gonna be an interesting test. So let's see how we go. Put the speed on, see what speed I can get this thing up to. Drop this dropper post. All right, off we go. Some nice little erosion berms on here too that I can get a bit of air on. Just gotta watch out for the rocks. There's plenty of nasty rocks on this trail. So I'll just take my time. Maybe bombing down here. Any good test for my suspension. Whee! Should have put my good knee pads on because this is pretty fucking steep. Better take it easy. Oh, nasty rock. And it's a little bit wet here too. Oh man, this is rough as guts. Oh, someone's been up here on a full drive. Rough as guts, I tell ya. This thing's eating it up. Pretty rocky two track. All right. The steepest part's yet to come. Climbing up here is going to be a mission. It's got to be at least two or three hundred metres of gain coming back up. Whew. Come on, brakes, keep holding up, I tell you. Good one good way to bed in the brakes. Come oh, on. Alright, coming to the steeper bit. It's a drop off up here. Let's give this a shot. So this is actually pretty hard to ride on the dirt bike. This thing's making pretty good work of it. Oh man! Trying to control my speed a little bit. I don't want to get too out of shape.
Wow. Oh God. Some berms here. Yeah, that's it. Getting these fast. Have I still got brakes? I've still got brakes. Oh man, that's a pump out. Well, that was fun. Let's have a look. Far out. What was my maximum speed then? I don't know. I'll have to have a look at the thing later on, but. Oh, I've got to ride back up that. Jesus. Well, good times. That is fun. This thing handle it perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Climbing back up, it's fucking steep, and I don't know how I'm gonna go. Attraction, oh man, like that. Whew. Okay, you gotta power to the ground. Power to the ground. Walk mode, how does walk mode work? Let's ride from here. Let's go. So the deal is fucking boost mode, get over the bars and fucking try not to loop it out. Man, I tell ya. This is easier on my two stroke, but I'm giving it my best shot. Come on. Oh man. Fuck. That's steep. Close. top I've had to use walk mode a couple of times as I lost traction in some of the really steep bits as you can see it's a little bit a little bit uh, loose up here and some of those bits back there they were just too steep for me to ride even with the pedal assist I tell you what I'm getting a good workout on the uphill on this one what a spot hey looking over to the 
to the west and to the southwest over there at the Grampians. It's, there's not a soul around and that was a hell of a hell of a run down there. That was super fast and a little bit sketchy in spots, but the um, bike looks like it handled it well. And I'm heading back up. I'm not sure how I'm battery, my battery situation is. We are sitting at 28% battery, so I'm going to have to ease off on the assist because I've got to get this thing home. 21.6 Ks in nearly all boost. This battery wasn't quite full charged when I came out. It had about, I think about 90% battery. Once I get up to the top of this though, I've got hundreds of meters of downhill, which is gonna be fantastic. I've already climbed 629 meters. So it's not too shabby. And um, yeah, let's keep going. Get up the top of this and um, see if I can make it home without getting this thing flat. What I found is it's sometimes a little bit hard to get started if you're on a steep bit because you've got to get that engagement on the pedal and until you get your weight back um, your traction's not the best so you've got a bit, it's a bit of a knack to it but once you get it rolling and you're in the right gear and you've got some assist going going uphill is doable on this stuff still technically challenging there's no way I'd be riding this without assistance on a mountain bike it's just way too steep in places this is not too bad here though Ooh. I must be getting close to the trailhead, I think. Whew. This is a beautiful day to be out. The sun will be setting soon. It's been a good little explore. As I learn the bike and my battery capacity, bike power and capabilities, I've got to, one thing I've got to do is stiffen up the suspension when I get back. I've been uh, using all the travel on the front. The front's nice and plush, but I don't want to be bottoming it all the time. Got the rear set okay. Just need to add a little bit more air to the front. So I'll do that when I get back home. It's going to be another fast downhill run from up the top of Wallaby Rocks. So I'm going to kill the battery and I'll film that as I ride down. All right, looking at mission control, I've done exactly 25 kilometers. I had about 90% battery when I left home. Um, I've only got 19% left, although I'm up on top of a plateau and I'm at, about to do quite a bit of downhill to get back to the trail. And I think that if I sit in eco on the way home, I should make it back before I go flat. But I haven't been very um, judicious with my youth use of uh, boost. I've just been using it non-stop on this ride. So it's interesting to see what I'm what it's capable of lasting um, when you hammer the boost mode. But it's really helped me get up to the top here quickly. And I used it to climb up Launders Track, which I went downhill on before. So I'm going to head downhill now, leave this recording, um, see what sort of speeds I can get up to. Um, yeah, and try and get back before I go flat because I'm on two red bars now. This is going to be interesting. Off we go. At least I'm not using any battery when I'm sitting above 30, uh, above 25 kilometers an hour. So this is not utilizing any battery at all. The motor's fully disengaged once I get up to that 25 kilometer hour mark. And uh, yeah, I'm under my own steam and gravity. So here we go. And it's a nice time of day to come down through here because I've got some really nice light on the mountains. If this, see if this phone stays on, eh? So watch out for kangaroos as well. down here. Wow. The suspension's 
coping really well. Better watch out though, there's a few rocks in places down here. G outs. Oh, that was a bottom out. Wow, insane. I wouldn't be down this as fast on my motorbike, I don't think. Super planted. Super planted. Whew. Far out, man. Gravity's great. Boost mode's great, but so is downhill gravity running. And I really, really like the small bumps, uh, the small bun bump uh, absorption on this bike. Um, I have to stiffen up the suspension a little bit, but the high speed, high speed compression and rebounds, pretty bite bang on. It's coping really well with these. Uh, rocky rocky roads oh man all right that was three kilometers down there and I used bugger all batteries so now I've got to get home let's see if I can make it all right on the way back I haven't used much battery I've done 13 K's since I last since I recorded up the top there when I was at about 18 percent and uh, because I'm cruising along mostly downhill and on flats and I'm sitting above the, uh, the speed cutout I'm not using any battery so I'm able to get this thing home without worrying too much about being flat I think I chewed all that battery up on my boost up those steep steep climbs so yeah that's that's what happens but You've got gravity on your side and you're on some flats and you're limping home you can manage that battery so I'm still at 10% and it's gonna be about a 40k ride given that that was mostly on boost I'm pretty happy with that I'm pretty happy seems like I'm always getting back when the sun's setting and out there you've got um, a lot of smoke in the air a lot of the farmers around here are burning off Burning off all their stubbles in preparation for, for harvest, uh, sorry, for, for, for planting out the new crops. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty uh, unusually bad air quality here today. But um, it's been a great ride up the back of the Asses Ears, over Wallaby Rocks and Launders Track. And uh, I had an exhilarating couple of downhills there. And I think that's going to be a nice little local fitness blast in boost. Get up there quick as I can, bomb downhill, and then get this thing home. Good times. Good times, guys. The Levo hasn't failed me yet.